Hi guys, welcome to this tutorial. Um, today I'm going to try to show you how to use Entity Framework 6 in your Visual Studio application. Um, so basically, we're going to create a new database and we're going to import the database into Visual Studio and then we're going to retrieve the values in the table and we're going to display them in the web application. So it's basically a very simple beginner's uh, entity framework tutorials, how to create your database and use entity framework to pull the values from your, your table and display them on your website. All right. So if you actually know um, entity framework or you have experience, uh, you can watch along. But if you're just a beginner, this is the right video for you because I'm going to try to make it as simple as possible. And then uh, you don't really need to know any coding language but if you have a coding language it's gonna be it will be better but you don't really need to I mean I'm gonna to try to make it as simple as possible um, it's gonna help you if you do know C sharp and then if you know HTML and know database uh, how to um, SQL database or Oracle database it's gonna be better as well well let's 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 get started I'm gonna start creating the table table so the first thing we're gonna do is um, we, we need to create a database first um, so the database, I'm going to create a new database. Okay, it's loading. I'm just going to try to create simple data, something simple. So I'm going to say entity framework um, tutorial as the database. Um, uh, data, uh, DB, okay, as per database. So I'm just going to call it EF2DB, okay. Okay, so that's creating the database right now. Now, if I'm just going to refresh the refresh the database just to see if we have it created successfully. Uh, right here, this is the database right here. Okay, so I'm going to add new table. So I right click on the tables, add a new table. Okay, I believe it's coming up. Okay, so I'm going to try to create. I'm tr just going to create one stu one table called student um, student table. So uh, it needs a student ID, obviously. Uh, student ID. Um, I'm gonna, if it's going to be of type of integer. Uh, this is not going to be null, and so I don't allow nulls. And I'm going to set this as the primary key. And I also want to set this primary key as the uh, identity specifier. So identity specification should be yes to this guy set yes and then the index increments as one and the identity seed also as one so it's going to increase by one every time you add a new a new row to this uh, table um so um next thing is like first name first name uh this one i want you to be a voucher of a voucher. A voucher is the same thing as a string in in, in, in regular coding uh, in C sharp, but in database we use voucher. Okay. Last name. Uh, last name also. I just want to make it. I just want to make everything voucher actually. Design. Voucher. Voucher fifty as well. It's not. Don't allow no. It's not no. Um, so I also want uh, to know the department of the student department of this student uh, also voucher voucher 50 I also want to know the email uh, the email of the student email okay uh, voucher well this time around I'm going to allow null so you may not it's, it's going to allow you not to input anything so let's leave it at null so let's save this table this new table so I'm going to say call it um, I'm going to call this table um, TBL, TBL stands for table students. Students, okay. So let's save it. TBL students is been saved. Okay, I'm gonna refresh this table again just to see if, uh, if the table is created correctly. Okay, we have TBL students right here. I want to add some values here, and uh, the simplest way to add some values is just right click on it and just edit. Just do edits up to 20 row, 200 rows, and then uh, you can now edit. Now this one is, you see, it's kind of blanked out somehow, like it's inactive, because we made the identity specifier. 
it is automatically going to increase by one okay so first name um let's say john uh, last name john doe department um, uh, physics uh, physics department uh, email uh, jdo at gmail.com okay um this this one let's make it um sam some fail department of um, geology okay so this one email is smith fail at hotmail.com Um, let's add one more. Um, so let's add. Uh, let's add. Um, hence, Betty. Miss Betty. Let's put Department of Chemistry. Um, yahoo.com okay so you know this this is increasing one two you know automatically it increases once well, just closing okay and then let's let's see the values we added right now um okay select 100 select 1000 rows uh, you can easily see the values by selecting 1000 rows okay so it selects and then you see the values we just created right here so our table um, student uh, our student table has these three 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 rows inside it okay so now let's go back to visual studio and import this um this using entity framework first thing i'm going to do is i'm going to add a separate um solution folder to this so okay so i'm going to add the solution folder i'm going to call it uh, data layer just to represent the database layer okay all right, I'm trying to make this video 10 minutes. It looks like it's going to be longer than 10 minutes, but if it gets longer than 10 minutes, we have to do a second part two to this. So, okay, so I'm going to add a new project. This is going to be the um, database project, the project that is going to hold the database. And I want that to be um, C sharp. I want that to be a class library folder. So I'm gonna do say data data layer again. So it's just basic, basically data, the data layer. Okay. All right. Okay. So now delete delete this first class that is here. Delete it. We don't need that. And delete that. Okay. Now you need to add the um, database model. Add. So this is database model. It's what is gonna hold the entity framework. So we're looking for um, data, click data. So you're looking for adu.net entity data model. Make sure you select that. So I'm going to call this EF, uh, EF tooth, uh, DB model. Uh, you can call this whatever you like. Um, just me calling this. Okay. Um, add. Okay, select entity e EF designer from database. So we are actually using database first. So we have to select this one that from database. Okay, select continue. So here you need to make a new connection to connect your database. So click new connection. And then it needs to know your server name. Okay, so for my in my own case, right, I'm using SQL server. My server name is this one right here this one right here so for me it's like Bob slash SQL Server Express so that's what I'm going to type right there um, I'm going to type right so for me it's Bob backslash SQL SQL Server Express SQL Server Express uh, just to be sure, just to be sure 
what I'm 